you're broke, you're living paycheck to paycheck, you've maxed out your credit cards just to pay for basic needs, and your credit score, what are you going to do? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to beautiful Chiang Mai. So give me yourself credit in Chiang Mai. What am I talking about? Am I talking about coming over here, getting yourself a credit card and running up debt? Absolutely not. But what I am talking about is giving yourself credit in another way. So stick around for this right here. So are you overwhelmed back at home? That home may be the UK, it could be the United States, and you feel broke and hopeless, not knowing what you're going to do. Well, this particular video, this was inspired by an email I received from one of the subscribers. Um, his name is Bill. He said that he had watched my video and uh, he really thinks that he should move overseas and, and take on a new life because of the bills that he's having to, to deal with. So to give you some background on Bill, he is 56 years old. He receives social security disability of about $2,500 a month. Now, his one bedroom apartment where he lives comes to $1,350. And then he has groceries, he has utilities, he has other things. So by the time his check is there, it is also gone. So Bill asked me what I think about him moving to Thailand and of course I am not a financial advisor but I can understand what he's going through according to some estimates some 78 percent of people in the United States are living paycheck to paycheck that also includes some of those that make over one hundred thousand dollars a year so he says he's an adventurous person. He thinks he can come over here and he can do it. But he has one problem, he says. He has bad credit. And how would that affect him? So let's talk about that. <clears throat> For those of you who are not familiar, I know in the United States, I'm not sure about other countries, but your credit score can rule you. And what is that credit score? So in the United States, lenders use your credit score to determine whether or not they're gonna lend you money. Now your credit worthiness depends on uh, your past history as far as you maybe defaulted on a loan or you were late on a loan. And how important is this credit score? It's very important because it not only says whether or not the lender is gonna give you um, a loan, but um, it's also used in some instances to determine whether or not um, you get a job. There are some companies that run your credit score to see if they're going to offer you a job. Also, car insurance. You know, if your credit score is low, then it can affect your, your, your um, ability to get car insurance. Or are you going to pay healthy for it? So the credit score ranges anywhere from 300 to 850. And there are three major credit card companies, Equifax, TransUnion, and what's the other one? Experian. And so those are the major, the three major credit bureaus that let lenders know if you are quote unquote worthy of giving a loan to. Now some of you may say, well you know what, if you are financially responsible, then you won't have to worry about that. But let me tell you, there's these things they refer to as life quakes that happen. And these are major things that can really shake you up. And what I'm talking about is loss of a job, um, a divorce. A medical emergency can set you so back that you feel like you're, you're playing catch up for the rest of your life. Now, I personally, full transparency, I was there. At one point in my life, I lost my job and I went through a divorce at the same time. So I got behind on bills. I struggled to even find a place to live that was decent. But eventually when I got into my career, um, I was able to play catch up 
Um, the embarrassing thing is I, I thought I was in a good place with the amount of money I made and I went to apply for a mortgage and my credit score was in the 500s. And back then you had to have, I want to say at least a 650 or 680 in order to qualify. But luckily I had a good person at the mortgage brokerage firm who showed me what I needed to do and I got back on track. And now I'm a very good steward of my money when it comes to that, when it comes to paying my bills. So I can understand how bad credit can happen, how it can affect your life. But to answer uh, Bill's question is, luckily over here as well as some other places, if you show up at an apartment complex or a condo complex and you have first, last security, whatever the case may be, um, cash is king, so to speak. So there's no running of your credit. And this could be very important for people that just want to be given credit as a human. Because if you've ever applied for a loan and to be turned down, it can, it can be soul crushing, okay? Um, so yes, so yes, it can be a new beginning for you, but guess what? If you are not a good steward of your money, if you're bad with money, back at home, wherever your home may be, if you come here, like the sand goes, wherever you go, there you are. And so I would say to work on your money management skills if you have a problem with that, because you can come over here and you look at some of my mall videos uh, that I did, and yeah, you can blow all your money in so many different ways, including coming up here and drinking it away or gambling it away. But why I wanted to do this video is I wanted to reach out to those people and I'm not telling you to drop everything and move over here but I just want to show you that there is another way you can be given credit as a human being to be treated decently and I hope this uh, reaches some of you who may be thinking about it doesn't have to be Thailand people are moving all over the world Mexico um, all over uh, South and Central America and so you do have options. So tell me what you think in the comments. I know just based on comments I've gotten in my past videos, there are people that have been over here longer than me and their lifestyle from three years ago to now, the cost of living has stayed relatively stable. Um, it is a good option. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Um, it's good to be back. I missed last week. And thank you for joining me. I love you and I will see you in the next one.